Hey, what's up, everybody? How is everybody doing? Hey, Shamar, how are you? Thanks for hopping on this uh, afternoon, morning. I don't even know what time it is. Hey, shiny girl. Hey, everybody that's coming on. I've got so many names popping on at the same time. Hey, Maxim, 700 Rider. How are you? What's up, everybody? Hey, eight the letter S. <laughs> that's actually a pretty cool name. Thank you guys for those hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I know it's been, you know, some hours. Hey there, girl. <laughs> how are you? Hey, Kenya, how are you? Hey, Dr. Anthony, how's everybody doing this uh, afternoon, I guess, huh? Hey, I've been I've been up working since like, man, since I don't know, like five something in the morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, OK. I'm glad you're doing well. That's awesome. <laughs> I've been up working since like five something in the morning. And um, so I don't even really know what time it is right now. <laughs> Hey, Johnny TG. Hey, Felicia. How are you? How is everybody? Thank you guys for hopping on and joining me today. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a su suggestion. Good morning, Dr. Anthony. How are you? Hey, Gail. Hi there. Thanks for joining. <laughs> hey, Andy. Yes, I am blue. I am very blue, but you know, not blue sad. <laughs> hey, Eden Itzel. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a suggestion. One one of the issues that a lot of people have with finding with working out is just finding the time. Um, it says, "Watch my vid. I my vid I left up for viewing." Johnny TG forty. Okay, okay. Is it on Periscope? Because if it's on Periscope, I can go back and uh, see it. Holla, hey, Shima, Shima, Shima. I hope I'm I'm hope I'm getting that right. I, I don't like to mess up people's names. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much for those hearts. Um, Okay, awesome, got it. So, finding the time seems to be um, the first time, the first time, okay. So, what did I say, did I say Shima or Shima the first time? I don't even remember what I said the first time, but correct me again if it's Shima or Shima, um, and that way I can make sure I, I repeat it to myself and, and, and get it right. Hey, D-Success Beauty. <laughs> She's laughing at me. I'm sorry. I'm trying so hard. I've been literally guys. I have been up work Shima. Okay, Shima 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 Shima. Awesome. Awesome. I follow um, a Cuban lady named Shima on um, on YouTube. She talks a lot about natural hair and stuff. Um, I like I like some of her videos, but her her Shima is spelled a little bit differently. Um, but again, I've been like I said, since five in the morning, I don't even know what time it is. I'm just trying to get myself together. Okay, so here we go. So we're talking about finding the time. And I wanted to give you guys a suggestion really quickly. Um, and let me ask you something. Have you ever tried doing a six-minute workout? Go ahead and tell me yes or no, yes or no. Have you ever looked into doing six-minute workouts? And the reason why I'm asking, uh, Felicia says, what do you do? Okay, I am a uh, personal trainer and nutrition coach, and I do metabolism-based meal planning as well. Um the reason why I'm okay, so you have okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. And the reason why I'm saying that is because there is scientific evidence, you can look it up, it's in a um, uh, peer reviewed journal. Okay, Shiny Girl says no, and it talks about how using six minute workouts, but they've got to be intense, right? So they can't just be regular workouts, like six minutes of intense working out at the beginning of, or the ending of your day can totally totally change your body and totally change your, your your life really now it happens over time okay so it's not something that you know you're going to do a six minute workout and then two weeks later all of a sudden everything's going to be great it does happen over time but basically what the study says is that if you can dedicate six minutes of hardcore working out like high intensity training you can change your blood sugar you can change your blood pressure you can lower your cholesterol yes that is like interval training absolutely and that's that, to me that's probably the best way to do um to do a six minute workout um shima says push-ups planks lunges like that just to get something in at least for me yes absolutely Absolutely. So let me tell you guys um, a really cool way to structure six minute workouts so that you don't get bored. What you can do is you can take three exercises that you really, really like. Um, so for example, I like push ups, I like the jump rope, and I like mountain climbers. She said, really? So I could go running for dinner for six minutes? <laughs> well, if it, I, I tell you this though, I will say this. If you want to go sprint, if you do sprint intervals for six minutes, thank you guys for those hearts. If you do six uh, sprint intervals for six minutes, absolutely, absolutely you can see those results. 
she says, "Ugh, mountain climbers. I know they're so bad. They feel so bad, but they feel so good. I don't know. Maybe I'm a, a weird, like pain freak or something like that. I don't really know. <laughs> But what I would do is you'll do burpees. Yes. Okay. Burpees is a, is a really good one too. So I may start off doing, I'll go 30 second pushups, 30 second jump ropes, 30 second of mountain climbers, and you run it back to back to back to back to back. You're going to run that circuit. Um, what is it? Four, four times. And that gives you a total of six minutes. And as long as you are, thank you so much for those hearts. As long as you are giving maximum effort, maximum effort, then doing that is a lot better than not doing anything. It says, how do you do the hearts? Never figured it out. Okay, so um, the way that I do the hearts is I tap my screen. I think other people are tapping their screens as well. Um, I believe that's the that's the only way to give those hearts out, but I'm not really sure for people who may not have a uh, touchscreen phone. So if anybody else has any suggestions, um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, says Chili Bow, tapy the screen to the right. Yes, absolutely. That's, that is the way that you give out those hearts. Thank you guys so much for those hearts, by the way. Um, so that's, that's one of my, my favorite things to do. And really, for every minute of hit, um, high intensity training, it's like doing two minutes of a workout. So if you've only got a couple of minutes, you can do a six minute workout, six minute high intensity interval training workout. And, um, it says, so you are perfectly fit. I, now I will say this. I don't necessarily consider myself to be perfectly fit. Um, and I don't think that I would ever consider myself to be perfectly fit because I always want to progress, right? I always want to get to the next level. I always want to get better. So um, I would never like fall into that trap of calling myself perfectly fit unless I'm like 95 years old and I'm already like rocking out on a motorcycle. But at that point, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the hearts. Um, yes, there's always, always room for progress, Shima. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, but yes, I'll pick my three favorite exercises, and I mean run through those bad boys as quickly as you can. It says, will you be doing a workout routine via Periscope? You know what? Actually, thank you, Chili Bowl. Um, actually, you know what? I did one a couple of days ago. I did a leg workout a couple of days ago. Um, I'm about, I've got a few more things that I need to take care of before. Um, it says, do you, do you body fat? Do I have body fat? Um, if you're asking if I have body fat, yes, I still have body fat. Um, and, and, you know, for women, it's important for us to keep some of our body fat. I know a lot of times we look at these women and we want to see six packs and we want to see all of these other things. Oh, hey, son, this is, this is my, this is my son. He's just waking up. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put him on blast. Hey, baby. He just came outside to say hi to mom. This is my 13 year old. Say, hey, hey, Timbo. <laughs> I'll be in a minute. <laughs> She says, hey, <laughs> oh man, he looks so tired. Um, do one for abs. Okay, you know what? I will. I've got a few things I need to do today before I hit the gym, and I will I will do one for abs. And as a matter of fact, if you guys go to my Facebook page, um, oh, thank you, Dr. Anthony. Thank you guys so much. Kenya says, I've seen your workout, but I was hoping without gym equipment. Okay, so um, the one that I will post today. I will do a, um, I'll do a series of workouts. I'll do a series of exercises that you guys can do. Thank you guys so much for those hearts. I'll do mm -hmm. some exercises mm -hmm. that you guys can do without the equipment, okay? Um, that way, if you're at home or if you can't get to the gym, whatever the situation may be, you'll be able to do those. Um, if you go to my Facebook page, forward slash a stronger you, so a stronger you, the letter U, fitness, um, Go through the photos. I've got, I just posted workout number 27 today. Um, and so some of the workouts require equipment, some of them don't. But some of those workouts that I have posted on my Facebook page are six minute workouts where you can do them in 30 second intervals, high intensity, go ahead and knock that bad boy out. Um, and, you know, get yourself a really good workout in. So again, remember, six minutes of, of hit is like doing 12 minutes of a regular workout. OK, and so if all you've got is six minutes and I'm, I'm pretty sure I mean, I know everybody's busy. I know we've got so many things going on, but I mean, we you, you can you can spare six minutes somewhere. You can spare six minutes somewhere. It says this is really good what you're doing. God bless. you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Felicia. Thank you so much. I really love it. Hey, now, is that sent on out Sentinel Sentinel? Um, I want to make sure that I'm pronouncing that right. I've seen you a couple of times before. How are you today? Um, thank you guys so much for the heart. So again, recapping. Take your, hey, from Mexico, how are you? <laughs> Take your three favorite exercises. Um, how would you recommend a lazy artist who doesn't exercise get started? Okay. 
Oh, thank you, Dr. Glu thank you, Dr. Anthony. I appreciate that. Okay, so getting yourself started. Okay, man, that is the hardest part. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I did this a couple of weeks ago. I had it done a couple of weeks ago. So this is the thing. Oh, speak slow. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, I know I talk really, really fast. Um, but this is the thing, okay? To get yourself motivated, the first thing you need is a goal, okay? If you don't have a goal, thank you so much for those hearts. I really appreciate that. If you don't have a goal, the international health and fitness expert, I'm telling you, that's what I'm coming for. Um, I, I think about it, but roll over and say, nah, but I really should start. Okay, he says, okay. And where are, okay, so Felicia, I am in Houston, Texas. Um, but again, you're welcome. You've got to have a goal, okay? You've got to have a goal. Because if you don't know why you're trying to push yourself out of bed to do a workout, it's not going to happen. Because it's not easy, right? Everybody's not a pain freak like me. <laughs> Thanks for those hearts, guys. You know, I kind of get off on that stuff. But hey, that's my personal. Everybody's not like that. So you've got to have you've got to have a goal. Why are you doing this? Is there a certain body type that you're trying to get? Is there an amount of weight that you want to lose? Now, let me let me say this about about the the weight loss goal or the body goal. You've got to have the goal, but then you've also got to determine what is this going to do for me if I achieve this goal. It says plus the older we get, it's more of a struggle. Absolutely. Think about the good results it will bring. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, high school weight. Now, I will say this, okay? A lot of us talk about being our high school weight. As an adult, you may not necessarily look the way you did in high school if you were to hit your high school weight now. If that makes any, I hope that, I hope that makes some sense. Um, hey there, hey there, how are you? Um, thank you guys so much for those hearts. So what we should be looking at is getting to the best body that we can have. I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. Like if I were, <laughs> I would look like a bobblehead. Yes, if I were to get back down to my high school weight, man, says, I love helping people live better too. That's the goal, feeling good and looking good. Okay, see, and that's those are the things that you have to think about. Um, it says, where you go. Um, what do you mean by that, Sentinel? Kind of uh, expand on that for me, please, so I can answer that properly. But think about that. What is this going to do for you when you achieve this goal. So for example, I'm a bodybuilder. M one of my goals is to um, win first place in an NPC show. Why? Because I know that I am a natural bodybuilder and I know that the NPC does not drug test. So for me, being able to win first place in a bodybuilding contest amongst other people who I know are, for the most part, probably juicing, that's going to do a lot for my self-esteem. Yes. <laughs> I am a bodybuilder. Um, I do figure, so I don't do like the big. I don't do like the big division. Um, it's sort of like the second division, the division above bikini. So um, um, I did win. Um, it says we work with legend George Farah in business. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, I did win third place in 2000, um, 2013. It was my first. It was my first competition, but that was on a natural circuit. It says should I aim for long term or should I have small go goals to start? Um, it's a, and well, hey, AB, how are you doing? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys uh, joined AB earlier for his um, for his morning broadcast, morning motivation. He's uh, he does. I think it's like 720 every a.m. It was it was uh, amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Shima. Um, so what you want to do is you want to start off with some short goals first. Yes, jump on tonight. A AB's motivation call is going to be um, at 8 p.m. He does one at 7:25 every morning, and he does he does a recap at 8 p.m. So if you guys have that time, make sure that you jump on that. He is uh, he's at uh, Well Life um, Abuchi A B U C H I Nuanko A B. Go ahead and type in your handle for me as well, so that everybody can see you too. So we can we can make sure that we all join and, and participate in that community too. Um, but you do want to have some short term goals because sometimes the long term goals, you know, sometimes. You know they take they take time, right? Which is why they're long term. Um, and sometimes it can be um, okay. Thank you for that, AB. So that's his that's his handle and all of his information there. Sometimes it could be a little bit discouraging because those goals. I mean, you really got to work for it. You really got to get to them. But let me let me let me give you guys a little secret. 
Um, it says, awesome. S some of my business partners and senior business partners are coming from D.C. tonight. Okay, cool. Um, let, me t let me give you a little secret. The reason why you want to set short-term goals is because every time you set a short-term goal and you scratch it off, you get a little shot of dopamine, right? And dopamine is addictive. So when you achieve that goal, you're going to want to do something else to achieve the next goal that you have on your sheet. And then if you achieve that goal and celebrate it with somebody, you're going to get a release of serotonin. They're going to get a release of serotonin and it's going to make you eat. It's going to make it easier for you physiologically to achieve those goals. Now, this is now that's a little secret. That's a little tidbit. I threw that out there for you guys. Um, but, you know, when people talk about hormones, that stuff is real. Um, and that's some of the stuff that I discuss. Yes, naturally. Absolutely. That's some of the stuff that I discuss with my clients when we do metabolism based meal planning. But I just wanted to throw that little secret out there for you. Set yourself a bunch of short term goals. Make sure you've got some long term ones, too. Right. Because those that's what's going to keep you going. But set yourself some short term goals so that you can celebrate those little small successes. <laughs> OK, so again, guys, um, I'm Tony Vinchell with uh, a Stronger You Fitness, ASU Fit and the Becoming a Stronger You Movement. Go to my Facebook page, Facebook.com forward slash a stronger the letter you a stronger you fitness go to photos click through those photos like i said i just posted num workout number 27 today mm -hmm. so there are 27 free workouts that you guys can use and some of those are six minute workouts that you guys can try so grab those workouts and then um shoot me a message on facebook or on twitter and let me know how those work out for you again um really quickly whoever that was that left the, the longer note in blue can you pop that up for me again please because i missed that i want to make sure that i that i get that before i hop off for you guys and thank you guys for those hearts i i really appreciate the love um really 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 appreciate that uh, it, it makes it it makes it awesome. It makes uh, all the stuff worth worthwhile um, <laughs> and hearts in all different colors. Thank you. She says, thanks, hon. I'm on your Facebook and I'll send you an inbox too. Yes. Send me an inbox. Um, and I promise you guys, I do answer my messages on Facebook and Twitter. It's a lot easier for me to get to you guys there. If I don't answer you immediately, it's because I'm either working or in a consultation or working with the client. But I promise you, if you shoot me a message there on Facebook or on Twitter, then I will definitely um get back to you if you guys know anybody that's got some weight loss goals some muscle building goals some fitness goals that would be interested in you know getting some personal training and and metabolism based meal coaching you know feel free to throw me out there too that's 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 pretty awesome but whoever that was that was in blue are you still here it says okay so running to the street corner of my street without being out of breath would be a good short-term goal yes believe it or not that, that would be a great short-term goal. Thank you, Kenya. Thank you, Kenya. Have a great day, too. You have a great too, day, too. Yes, that is an awesome short-term goal. That is an awesome short-term goal. Um, you may want to set one in between that because that the, the, the way um, or the speed at which you get to that goal is going to depend a lot on your metabolism and your eating and your consistency with workouts. So that's a good short-term goal. Set one that's just in between that one so that you can keep pushing towards that one. Okay, so again, guys, this is Tony Vinchell with the Stronger You Fitness, ASU Fit, and the Becoming a Stronger You Movement. Follow me on Facebook and pick up some of those free workouts at facebook.com forward slash a stronger, the letter U, a stronger you fitness. Um, until I talk to you guys again, stay strong, stay beautiful, and always, always, always work towards becoming a stronger you. Bye.